I'd like to give you a little overview of the journey we're going to take from module one all the way to module six. Uh, the module one is about exploring worldview, our current worldviews individually and globally and exploring what these worldviews would have to be for our world to become more sustainable, more connected, and more appropriate in terms of its relationship with nature. So um, that's the module one, which is already pretty extensive. And then eventually we get into module two, where we talk about uh, different kind of thinking that occurred throughout history, different thinkers, um, uh, the way thinkers throughout history has shaped the worldview we have and how important some of these uh, fundamental axioms were laid throughout history that eventually got us where we are today. And that leads into module three, which is where the physics of modern uh, history is at. Um, all modern physics um, starting um, in the early times with Newton, Galileo, Copernicus and the gang and then all the way to Einstein, Planck and others and then eventually to modern particle physics, standard model, uh, cosmology and so on. And then we go into module four we, where we start to explore uh, the new views that are developing today and that are bringing us to unified physics, to a connected universe in which action and reactions across the universe are important to consider, in which all things are communicating with all other things in a connected view, in a connected worldview of the universe, the world around us and ourselves, And that leads into um, the geometry that make that connection possible, which is uh, module uh, five, in which we explore the origin of the geometry of unified physics, which goes through ancient civilization and ancient knowledge that has been present on our planet for thousands of years, and eventually uh, that led to uh, some of the most enigmatic um, monuments we found around the world and all sorts of very intriguing uh, sets of information, which eventually leads to, well, where is that all bringing us to, which is module six, uh, where we explore the application and implication of unified physics, both for technology, uh, for yourself, uh, for our society, uh, for our capacity to interact with the rest of the universe uh, and uh, as well with each other. So all this together makes for a very in-depth course and we're really excited to be able to share all that information with you. Take your time go through the links, study hard, research hard, share with your peers and friends, and give us some feedback. And we'll see you in the modules.